talk to you about what the expression on your face might be saying about what you're thinking. Have you ever heard the expression, a dumb grin? The implication of that expression is that when we are sitting by idly and smiling, that our heads are empty. Or worse, our heads are full of fluff and insubstantial thoughts and ideas. Whereas on the other hand, if we're frowning, think about Rodin's statue, the thinker, the sculpture, where the man is sitting and knitting his brow with his, head on, his hand on his forehead. Our assumption in that case is that the person is lost in very deep thought. But when I think on my own experience, most of the time when I'm smiling, I'm having an encounter with something very real. I'm encountering the blessings in my life. I'm encountering the beauty of life. I'm encountering my own inner strength, my own inner resources. I see the people in my life as blessings and as wonders and as miracles. And I could be driving along on a beautiful day behind the steering wheel of my car with a dumb grin on my face, and what I'm actually smiling at is the beauty that I'm passing, the beauty that I'm in. Whereas on the other hand, often, when I'm frowning, I'm frowning at things that are insubstantial. I'm frowning at ideas in my head. So if you catch me driving along and frowning, I might be thinking about the appointments on my schedule. I might be thinking about the backlog of email in my email box. I might be thinking about the dust in the corners of my house. I might be thinking about lost opportunities in the past to connect with my children. It really doesn't matter. But often, when I'm having these thoughts that really make me knit my brow, and I'm really fortunate to have children who let me know when I'm making that face, I'm actually having thoughts that are preventing me from encountering the world as it really is. Now, I don't want to say that everyone should walk around with a smile on their face all the time. There are genuine instances of pain and suffering in our lives and the lives of those we love and the lives of those we don't even know. And the genuine, compassionate response is not always a smile. I think when we feel that genuine pain of that very real situation, yes, it's serious. And our faces will reflect that. But don't assume that if you're smiling that someone else is smiling that they have nothing real to smile about. A smile can be a very real reflection of the very real and miraculous world you're in. Have a beautiful day. Bye.